Welcome President Trump will nominate former Attorney General William Barr to once again lead the Justice Department. Barr previously held the title under President George H.W. Bush from 1991 through 1993. Joining me right now is Michael Mukasey. He is former U.S. Attorney General under President George W. Bush. Your Honor, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us, Judge. Your reaction to William Barr's nomination? Couldn't be better. Uh, terrific choice. Not only was he Attorney General at one time, but he's, he's the guy's a real lawyer. Um, he was at one time the assistant attorney general in charge of what's called the Office of Legal Counsel. That is the office that is essentially the lawyer, the lawyer for the Justice Department and the rest of the government. It attracts the best people in the department. Um, that and the Solicitor General's office get the best lawyers, and he headed that department. So he is um, he's a super pick. Do and you believe also a... he will seek the truth in terms of these investigations that we've been covering all year? Absolutely. I I'm talking about the FBI putting its finger on the scale in the 2016 election, trying to stop Donald Trump based on those texts from Peter Strzok and Lisa Page. I'm talking about the handling of the Hillary Clinton investigation where they wrote an exoneration letter before they even interviewed her. Do you think William Barr will, pr uh, will pursue those things? I do. I do. And um, he will pursue them to the extent that, that, uh, that he has the authority to do it. And I think he's got enough authority to do both. What about all of these investigations coming from the Democrats against the president? Virtually every corner of his life is now under investigation. Well, um, it's, kind of, it's kind of sad because um, the, 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 um, the, 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 the trope from the beginning was resist. And... Um, the notion that somehow politicians were sent to Washington simply to harass and conduct investigations of, a, of, of another administration um, is, is really disturbing. Let me move on to Michael Flynn, because you don't think this was entrapment at all. No. Tell me about entrapment that. Entrapment has a legal meaning. It means um, overbearing somebody's will. In other words, if somebody resists committing a crime, you try to persuade him, say, please, and so on. And giving somebody the opportunity to commit a crime that he's otherwise inclined to commit is not entrapment, even if it sounds unfair or looks unfair. So what happened here? Why did he lie to the FBI? That's an excellent question, because I think that the truth would have been, would have been fine. He, at the time that he spoke to Kislyak, he talked to him about Russian sanctions. He apparently also talked to him about the resolution condemning Israel for, for, uh, for expanding its settlements in the West Bank and expanding settlements in, in East Jerusalem. Um, and uh, he had every, every right to do that. He was the designee to be uh, national security advisor. It would have been malpractice for him not to do it. He was, they, were, they interviewed him supposedly as, because the, the pretext was that they were investigating a violation of the Logan Act. The Logan Act forbids private citizens from talking to any foreign government with which we have a dispute right. um, about the subject of that dispute. It's been on the books for, since 1793. It's never been prosecuted successfully. The last, there were two prosecutions, both unsuccessful. And nobody has been prosecuted for it in modern times, mm. including, you know, Hanoi Jane and, and, and Dennis Rodman and That's all right. the other people who yes. were off talking to people um, that we had disputes with. So they knew he spoke to Kislyak. They had a recording of they it. They had the recording. Right. And yet he was, what, afraid of the Logan Act? Well, he... he I doubt that he was afraid of the Logan Act. Nobody's afraid of the Logan Act. It's probably unconstitutional. So why lie? But, that's a very good question. The question was, is whether he was afraid of possible uh, scandals about Trump's contacts with the Russians. I don't know. But he couldn't conceivably have lied out of fear of a Logan Act prosecution. Mm. Before you go, what about the Mueller probe? What, what are your thoughts on where we are and what this looks like in the new, in the new year and with the new Congress? We are where we were before. Um, there is the Mueller was put in place only because it was necessary to have somebody, to have an independent uh, counsel to investigate the question of whether there was uh, a, a criminal relationship between the Trump campaign and the Russians. There has been no showing of any such connection. Russians have been indicted for hacking. People have been indicted for crimes that have nothing to do with the Russians. Um, Cohen has been. Um, uh, Manafort has been. But nobody makes that connection. Right. And that's where we started. Mm. Well, we'll see what comes out of it. I mean, it is now two years going. Right. Judge, it's great to see you. Great to be with Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Always fantastic insights from you, Michael Mukasey.